Hello and welcome back as we look at the 10 best directors of the 21st century. For this list we're looking at directors who have made the biggest impact on the movie industry of the 21st century, who have contributed in providing fantastic directorial pieces time and time again. We're also only looking at directors who have made three or more movies post 2000. Number 10, Damien Chazelle. Whilst it may be too early to say whether Chazelle will lead a long and prosperous directorial career, so far he's wowed audiences and critics alike with just three films under his belt. Starting in the late 2000s with small indie flick Guy and Madeline on a Park Bench, Chazelle set high expectations for his films to come. However, in 2014 Chazelle exceeded these when he made the highly acclaimed sensational indie drama Whiplash, based on his Sundance winning short film from the previous year. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Russian or dragging? Russian. So you do know the difference! He later matched this acclaim just last year with his groundbreaking musical La La Land, which critics are now favouring for the best picture of the 2017 Oscars. City of stars, are you shining just for me? Number 9, Paul Greengrass. Starting off his career in television, Greengrass gained notoriety in 2002 with his historical drama Bloody Sunday which featured a gritty aesthetic and fluent handheld footage that Greengrass would later utilise as his iconic style in his forthcoming films The Bourne Supremacy, The Bourne Ultimatum and the critically acclaimed United 93. However, it was in 2013 that Greengrass picked up international acclaim and recognition for his biographical thriller Captain Phillips, which earned him both a BAFTA and Golden Globe nomination for Best Director. Hey! Look at me, sure. Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. Number 8, Alexander Payne. The only person on this list to win or be nominated for a directing award for every single one of his 21st century films at either the Oscars, BAFTAs or Golden Globes, Alexander Payne has had a prosperous career with critically acclaimed and award winning hits including About Schmidt, Sideways, The Descendants and Nebraska, the last three of which earned him an Oscar nomination for Best Director. Oh, uh, she wanted to. You didn't? I figured what the hell. Utilising similar themes of adultery and loneliness across his filmography, Payne seeks for full creative control over his movies, thus giving us some of the finest independent films ever made. This is gonna be fine. <laughs> this is gonna be fine. Okay. <laughs> Number 7, Denis Villeneuve. Born in the Canadian province of Quebec, Denis Villeneuve has become a frontrunner for finest director of the 2010s, with a string of fantastic movies ranging from mysterious thrillers like Incendies and Prisoners to beautifully shot crime films like Sicario. However, it was in 2016 when Villeneuve completely reinvented the science fiction genre with The Rival that proved himself to be one of the most proficient and alluring directors in the industry today. Dr. Banks? Hey, hey, hey. what are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. They need to see me. Take it off her headmaster, Dr. Banks. Number 6, Peter Jackson. The guy who reinvented the fantasy genre with his amazing Lord of the Rings trilogy, Jackson has rightfully earned international acclaim. Starting in the 80s with independent gore fests like Bad Taste and Brain Dead, Jackson helped put New Zealand on the film map when he commandeered the stories of J.R.R. Tolkien to transform the stunning New Zealand landscape into the depths of Middle Earth. connoisseur of CGI epics, Jackson gained further success when he later returned to Tolkien's works to adapt The Hobbit as well as a lengthy remake of King Kong. Number 5, Alejandro González Señorito. Kickstarting his career at the turn of the century with Amoros Peros, Mexican director Inurito has since paved his way into limelight with a string of independent and big budget pictures, of which most recently won him the Oscar for Best Director twice over two consecutive years for his highly ambitious film The Revenant and the Best Picture winning black comedy Birdman. Let's go. Walk. Where are we going? Get you some coffee. Did I do something to disrespect you? Not yet. A director who takes a unique approach to a film, Inurito has continually crafted a number of fantastic non-linear movies and endeavours in taking on a challenge, no matter how impossible or strenuous it may seem. Number 4, Coen Brothers. No stranger to the public, 
The Coen brothers are one of the most talked about duos in the film industry. Whilst their overall success is slightly diminished since their film run in the 90s with pictures like Fargo and The Big Lebowski, the Coens have nonetheless continued a fantastic career into the new century with dark comedy hits like Oh Brother Where Art Thou and A Serious Man, as well as earning much deserved acclaim for their neo-western thriller No Country For All Men, for which they won three Oscars for Best Picture, Best Writing and of course Best Directors. What way would that be? I seen you was from Dallas. What business is it of yours? Where I'm from? Friendo? Number 3. Martin Scorsese Had this list been looking at pre-21st century directors, Scorsese would have undoubtedly topped the list. However, whilst his masterpieces like Taxi Driver, Raging Bull and Goodfellas were in the past, his newer flicks like The Departed have earned him the right for a top 3 position. All right, only one of us is a cop here, Bill. You understand that, Bill? No one knows who you're you fucking shut are. the f up! I'm a sergeant in the Massachusetts State Police. Who the f are you? I erased you! Continually slaving away to transform today's Hollywood into a focus on art over business, Scorsese has always favoured biographical tales in the form of The Wolf of Wall Street, The Aviator, and Gangs of New York. However, his lengthy run times have since earned some controversy with his later films, including his recent passion project, Silence. Nonetheless, Scorsese is arguably the finest long-running director in the industry today. Is this it, priest? The Pope's new army? A few crusty bitches and a handful of ragtags? I know, Bill. You swore this was a battle between warriors, not a bunch of Miss Nancys. So warriors is what I brought. Number two, Alfonso Cuaron. Our second director on this list hailing from Mexico, Alfonso Cuaron has become one of the most important directors of the past few decades. Starting out just after Inuritu, Cuaron followed a similar route with his debut feature Why Tu Mama Tambian, which garnered him recognition when he was nominated an Oscar for his writing efforts. However, it was his highly acclaimed sci-fi thriller Children of Men that finally aided him in making a name for himself, which he followed up with the six-time Oscar winning hit, Gravity. Before we reveal our number one director, here are some honourable mentions that just missed the list. Hayao Miyazaki Mike Lee Oh my goodness me! Oh Mr Turner! David Fincher She's complicated, she's got very high standards. Type A. Well that can make you crazy if you're not like that. Quentin Tarantino. There's a special rung in hell reserved for people who waste good scotch. Seeing as I may be rapping on the door momentarily. Where's Anderson? She's been murdered. And you think I did it. Hey! Catherine Bigelow. You're a wild man, you know that? Huh? Yes, He's sir. a wild man, you know that? Huh? Why shake your hand? Steven Spielberg. Wait. Wait. Michael Haneke. Mais tu fais quoi? Tu avais laissé l'eau couler. Dis donc, qu'est-ce qui t'arrive? Tu es complètement folle. Number one, Christopher Nolan. While some see Nolan as overrated, there is no denying the talent that lies within him. Starting in the late 90s with the ultra-low budget following, Nolan has since taken the 21st century by storm with his unique directing and writing style that helped helm thriller hits such as Insomnia, The Prestige and Memento, the latter of which boasted his unique storytelling style that he later utilised on the Dark Knight trilogy, as well as his sci-fi epics Inception and Interstellar, with his forthcoming production Dunkirk becoming the most anticipated movie of 2017. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video as it was a very tough list to conceive. To see the original shortlist please follow the link below. Other than that, please leave your opinions in the comments below and subscribe for new videos every week.